side of the diamond. Hey, the Jays lost. We want to yeah. open with that? Oh, I feel like we have to. Oh, we've been recording. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Uh, we'll roll with opening. that. I forgot we were recording, so we're gonna roll with that. Uh yeah, the Jays lost. What was the final score? Was it nine one? Nine one? Yeah. Shout out Mitch White. Shout out Mitch White for real. Um I don't have a lot of hate for this game. Uh I think Manoa hey, kind of got fucked. I, I know, I know I did, you guys I neither of you saw it, did you? No. I, I saw the call. I saw the yeah. call. Like, um actually so, two. I saw the the Soto one and the Grisham one. Yeah, so quick recap. First inning, uh, Tatis was on first after a walk, I believe it was. I heard he had five walks and three plus. That's... He did. Um, he got he was getting squeezed. It wasn't pretty. Um, but no, sorry, it was Kim on first. No, no, it was well, Tatis. The Never mind. Tatis. Yeah. It was Tatis. So Tatis is on first. Um, and the pitch comes into Soto one and two count. Like he was ahead of him one and two count. There's a beautiful change up that caught a lot of the bottom of the zone. And the um called it a ball would have struck him out. Would have been two out runner on first next pitch. Tatis steals second. Uh, then two pitches later, Soto hits a tank. Um, that puts it two nothing. And then the J scored in the bottom, make it two one. But if you go, if you take that out of it, you go into the bottom of the first without that run, I think it's a whole different ball game. Um, so he kind of got screwed right from the get-go. And then everything just kind of unraveled from there. It wasn't pretty. Pete Brandon Walker Belt. Got, Pete Walker got ejected uh, on like yeah. um, during a mound visit. Yeah. Probably my favorite ejection I've ever seen. It was yeah. quite wicked. Because um, Pete, like, I saw that clip. Pete gets out there. Mm-hmm. Like, in the second that he gets out there, the ump yeah. starts moving to the mound. He knew what he was going out there for. Like, he was just making it come quicker. Um, no, it was great. Uh, Manoa did. The numbers don't really show. I think Manoa was better than the outcome. He wasn't great, but I think he got screwed a little bit. There were a couple of calls on two strikes that he should have probably had a few Ks on. In the end of the day, we probably still would have lost that game regardless, but it is what it is. You move on. Uh on the good news side of things, we swept the Diamondbacks. And did Brant bring a broom? Of course he didn't. I didn't because I didn't even watch the games. I feel like I got to watch it in order to broom. Um, Connor, we had, Nate and I had a busy weekend. That, that's the show. Connor, Connor yeah. run, us, run us through the weekend. because Six, uh, six is the pitch it. that should have been a strike. Yeah, yeah, that's bad. Is that the blue one? Yeah. Oh, like no, that's the one beside it. That one right there. I think the that's green. but It's green. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the pitch that would have been strike. Yeah, three. so that was very, that should have been strike three. three yeah, on, my very yellowish should have been strike three, and it wasn't. But whatever, okay, uh, Connor, help yeah. help us out. We we didn't watch any any of the games. Okay, um, mm-hmm. so we go to game one: Rios versus Ryan Nelson. Okay, uh, which obviously Lourdes and Gabby came back. That's that's the big story right. coming in this week. Is this the one that Gabby hit a tank? Yes, Gabby. This was the game tying tank from Gabby. Mm. Um, this was also Vladdy hitting an absolute piss missile. First player yeah. ever to win the Derby and hit a homer in his first at bat. See, that doesn't sound right. Like, I think it was. I, that, it might not have been first ever, but it was. It I thought it was. Wild. Yeah, uh, Jose Barrios was really good. Uh, all three of these games get kind of. I mean, all yeah, all three of these games could just get chalked down to. Very close until it very wasn't. Yeah, I like, noticed that. Like, it was pretty much 2-2 the entire game. Mm-hmm. And then, in like, the top of the night, I think it was the bo- bottom of the eighth, the Blue Jays hit, scored, like, five runs and just right. called it a day. I yeah. think I saw that one. Yeah, like, and they had a bunch of, like, two-out hits with mm-hmm. runners in scoring position, which was beautiful. Like, it was, like, three, I think it was three straight two-out hits. Like, it was beautiful, because we know, God know, we can't do that shit anymore. Or never did this year, um, but like it's fucking. Yep. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, uh, game two. Game this, was, two. this was kind of the close one. It was Bassett versus Gallon. This mm-hmm. was the start that Kevin Gosman was supposed to have, right. but he didn't because of discomfort in his leg, hip. Mm. I don't remember shoulder, arm. I... I don't even remember what they said. It was side discomfort. I think it was the. That sounds accurate. Yeah, I think it was side discomfort was the ruling. So they just said, hey, Chris, go save us. And, and he save did. Us, and save us, he did. Yes. He was really good. Uh, Whit Merrifield just hitting homers now. Weird. 
Like, yeah, what a run he's been on, dude. Uh, Bo Pichette hits another one, absolute piss missile. And Nate's favorite reliever, no, Jimmy Garcia gets the save. Love it, no. love it. No. Love it. it was beautiful, it was great. Um, and then, but yeah, I, I like the Blue Jays scored a couple runs in that one, and then game three. The Danny Jansen game. This game it ended seven five. It 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 was not that close. No. It it was it was made close by one Mitchell Whitington. I do want to talk about him in a minute, so we will yeah, get, we'll to, get that. to him. But uh Kikuchi <laughs> super not good. Super okay. Super mid. I see the I didn't see the game, obviously, but the he, line really didn't look that bad. It wasn't like it was like he only went what four and a third, four and two four thirds, and a, four and a third. I I think it was yeah, it was four and two thirds. I think he had four strikeouts. Yeah, Couple they're just walks. Not, they're just not the thing is they're just not letting him see the lineup the third time through. No, which kind of sucks. Like, he he looked visibly disappointed when he came out of that game. I did see the video of that. Yeah, um, I I would like to see them give him more of a chance than what they did. He but obviously, I don't really know what his he game he didn't help like. himself out in the first inning of that game mm. with the. Attempted pickoff of Lourdes Gurriel Jr. at second base. Is that what it was? Yeah. That's how they scored the first run. And then didn't help that Kiermeyer like overran it in the outfield, which led to them Lourdes scoring. Hmm. So hmm. yeah, but yeah, the defense was not hey great. Danny Jansen game. Mm-hmm. It's all that matters. Yeah, and uh should be trade piece, Santiago Espinal, not realizing that. Oh, that's my former teammate who led the league in outfield assists. I'm gonna run on him. <laughs> and you see what happens. You got gunned out. Hey, it um, is what it is. It is what it is. But it is what it is. We swept again. We swept. Yeah, yeah. It was a seven-two game going into the top of the ninth inning, and yeah. apparently that lead was not Mitch White proof. No, 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 not. no lead is ever Mitch White proof. No game is Mitch White proof. No, <laughs> Mitch White sucks. Dude, You're not honestly. Wrong. Do you remember that twenty-eight to five game? If Mitch White was in that game, that game finishes like twenty-eight to eleven. Yeah. It like, might even be worse than that. Mitch White just is not good. I don't have nice things to say. I'm sure he's a good human. That trade looks so much worse um, every well, day. Nick Frasso sucks too now, though. So fr- I, mm. He's got a 4-6 ERA in, down there right now. So I feel less bad about it. It's just a nothing trade now. Um, but there's no reason to have Mitch White on this team anymore. Your Your project is over. When Chad Green comes back or when Ryu comes back, there's no need for Mitch White on this yeah, baseball. Team. Mitch Mitch White it should not be the reason that you no. have to send Jay Jackson back to the, the minors. No. Jay Jackson they'll, is night and day better Jay than Jay Jackson Mitch is White. amazing. They'll like, flip they'll find a way to flip him for like some no name prospect. I don't even think you need to flip him. You need. I think he might some, get somebody he might pass through waivers. I don't right know. So. No, dude. He'll get picked up by like yeah. somebody will somebody. Take him. Somebody take a flyer on him. You might get you get two no name prospects and maybe one, just whatever. Yeah. I can can I just can we talk about another player in this series for like a second here? Sure. Um Mr. Zach Gallen mm-hmm. from uh the Nasty. Diamondbacks. Nasty. Nasty. Yes. Nasty. Very good. Um he's he's been nasty in half his games this year. Mm-hmm. He's got some really interesting splits. Does he? Oh, it does, isn't he like a an ERA of like two point five at home and like six on the road? No, or it could be that not bad. quite. It's it's it's, it's, so, it's it's splits are weird, but he's thrown ten games at home and ten games on the road so far this season. Mm-hmm. At home, nine and zero. Nice. On the road, two and four. Holy! At home, a one four eight ERA. With 8.4 strikeout to walk. Mm-hmm. Uh, and where was it? Opponents OPS of 507. Oh, gosh. So on the road, two and four with a 511. Jesus. 3.18 K to walk. Jesus. And opponents OPS of 7.49. Huh. Jesus, that's good. 
That's insane. That's deep. Guy loves home cooking. It's both 10 games. That's crazy. Stars. That's crazy. It's not that small of a sample size. No. That's, I mean, is anything really that small of a sample size anymore? <laughs> no. Is it, well, okay, wait. Is I it guess still not. Chase Field? Yes. Uh, is it a pitcher friendly park? I think it's pretty big, but like center field like is tough to hit it out on. I know I feel that like it's more pitcher friendly than hitter friendly. It's deep. I think those yeah. numbers are not. Yeah. Like huh. he's still, I, I believe he's still one of the front runners for the Cy Young. Oh, for Which sure. he started the all-star game. Like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's top three. Like that's, but that's insane to be that bad on the road and still have numbers that good. Insane. Uh, huh. Where's overall numbers here? I'm like, they gotta be like mid high threes. These are like, yeah, probably around a three three. It's wild. Uh, three one. He's eleven and four. Nuts. That's um, ridiculous. Yeah, we really don't have much to talk about this episode. Uh, we are gonna squeeze in some fun stuff in the middle here. Um, but I do want to get to some potential deadline shit including yeah. the rumor that I don't remember who tweeted it out first is this the first one that came out um which or one? do you not have the Marcus Stroman yes Marcus Stroman is the big the big talk of the town apparently uniting apparently there is there okay so this story has kind of developed a little more now but at the time there was a lot of interest from the Blue Jays in bringing back Marcus Stroman um as the days have gone on, it seems as though that rumor might have got blown out of proportion a little bit. Um, apparently, it's now highly unlikely that Marcus Stroman comes here, which I think made sense from the get-go because when you look at the landscape right now, how many solid starting pitchers are out there? Shane Bieber's probably not out there anymore. We can no. just kind of... Him, Jay Flair, potentially Cease... Giolito. Did the White Sox uh, say they're... Oh, Gio's... Yeah. Did they Gio say sure. Cease See, is off the market? I don't... John Heyman put out a thing that, like, the Astros' dream uh, pickup was Cease, but that's, mm-hmm. like, that that's a pipe dream for them. Right. Like, um, get, someone getting Cease is a pipe dream. Blake Snell, possibly, but the Probably. Padres could make a run. Monty. Monty, yeah. I think, is a realistic option. Well... <sighs> Show a sure, yeah, that's true. Um, how many of them can we honestly say this season are better than Marcus Strom? Show Snell, show hey, right now, yeah, that's it, that's probably it. Mm-hmm. Cease in the future, maybe. Do you want to know what I think happened with that whole thing? Mm-hmm. I think the Jays called on for called asking about Cody Bellinger, mm-hmm. and then they were just like. Hey, how, how's Strowman? What about Stroh? Yeah, and then end like that. That's probably what happened. Now, before tonight, I would have said it doesn't make a ton of sense because the way Alec Manoa pitched in his game against Detroit, you're like maybe he's back, maybe. Uh, and you have Ryu coming back. But mm-hmm. the way it looked tonight wasn't pretty. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe the Jays become a little more interested in a potential starting pitching option. Mm-hmm. Whether or not that becomes Marcus Stroman remains to be seen. I can't see Ross Atkins going after Marcus Stroman. I can't either, but I and I don't think the Jays are one of those teams that need another like borderline ace two pitcher. That's like, what no. I was gonna say. Like, not take out the personality factor, whatever you feel about Stro. Mm. Um, it just I don't know if it makes sense for the prospect capital you're gonna have to give up for a guy yeah. who's definitely free agent next year. Yeah, he's, he's opting out of that for definitely sure. Definitely not staying. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's a lot. You're probably gonna have to give up for him to for part of a year when you could yeah you re- he like he's it, he's not better than Gossman he's not starting no. game one for you no and you you could probably, argue he'd start game two you'd see down the stretch yeah you're there's there is a chance you bring in Marcus Stroman and mm-hmm. he's starting game four Depending on possibly, how I he Depending is a big Bassett game guy. Out the stri- like finishes down the stretch. He is. He was but good in that run at, in 2015 and 16. Pitching in right now. Yeah, yeah, the teams that he's seeing every yeah. day. Yeah, very different. It's it's not the AL East. It's not 
the thing I there i think the al lineups are deeper right now other yeah. than like the top two in the west and we the lost the all-star couple in the yeah which is honestly like in saying about East. the division that's why i'm kind of worried if the jays were to go get like a jack flaherty because he's in the nl central and he's been in nl central and he hasn't whole time. been very good which is why I he's think been good recently. He's been good recently, but like sure, good but, recently, not great recently. But but you're giving up a lot less for him than you are for Strowman. You are yeah. part of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My thing is, if you're going to go after Strowman, you might as well just commit and go after a guy like Blake Snell, if he's if he's available. It's probably going to cost you similar prospects. I'd say Snell might be less. Possibly Snell might be slightly less, just because. I don't think the Padres necessarily. They don't live for prospects. <laughs> no, they don't. Um, but they might. They need to rebuild it a little bit. Sure. So you, I, I just think Snell kind of brings you more upside, uh, and he also adds. He's left-handed, right? No. Yes, he's left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It adds another lefty starter, which realistically the only one you have right now is Kikuchi, and then Ryu, and then Ryu, who both they're both not going to start in the playoffs. You could be starting in Toronto next Friday. I'm pretty sure I heard. Yeah, he could. I think he's starting. He's starting early. Saturday. Yes, yeah, AAA. Friday or Saturday in Buffalo, and then depending on how he does there, they're like, if he does well there, there's not much else stopping him from being a up with the yeah. team. Like, if you do run a six man rotation, Ryu comes back, pitches the way he can. You bring in another starter, or Manoa figures it out. If you run a six-man rotation, I could argue that that's probably the best case scenario for the Blue Jays. Because I, like, I don't think anyone disagrees with you. That's what the yeah. Astros did all basically all last year, yeah, right? And well, especially we have, there's like sorry, three guys on the team that you know pitch significantly better. That's exactly that. what I was going to say. Kevin Gosman's best starts have been on the extra days rest. Ryu, over the course of his career, has been significantly better on an extra days rest. Um. It doesn't hurt anyone else to have that extra day. I mean, it, yeah. it's not a bad it, bringing in starting pitchers is never a bad idea, especially ones that can make a difference. Yeah. Also, it's kind of going back to the Blue Jays a bit on the rest. I think to a certain extent, Manoa was not good tonight. I think to a certain extent, you kind of next his next start is the one where you're like, okay, what the fuck are you? Because he's coming yeah. off what 11, 12 days. Yeah. It's so like awkward, you can, like you're out of a, your routine. You can say whatever you want about the Padres and what they've done this year. That's it's a, good a hell, that's a hell of a lineup. The, that it's team should not be lineup. what? How many games? Man, there's six games out. Alec of Alec last year doesn't dance through that lineup. He's no. How, any pitch you got to battle those guys with man. that lineup, dude. There were their five hitter was what Xander Bogarts tonight. Yeah, Juan what? Soto leads the league and walks by about thirty. What the fuck? And that guy just sees pitches like. Manoa was at 39 pitches, 40 pitches by the time he left the first inning. Yeah, he was a like... insane stuff. Um, and yeah, like you've got Bogart's hitting five, you've got Cronenworth hitting six, you've got Gary Sanchez in the seven hole hitting homers. Ooh, ooh, yeah, right. Like and Matt Carpenter, who was a miracle last year, hitting eight. It's just, it's nuts. They're so deep. How is that team so bad? I don't know. Like, I genuinely don't know because Musgrove's had a good year. I don't think uh, Snell's think... had a good year. I don't think uh, he's had a good last couple months. Ever he since Gary Sanchez, ever sure. since Gary Sanchez got there, it's which right. is ironic. Well, it's ten he's or eleven thing. starts like, or something like that. His his nine starts without Gary, he's got like over a five. With yeah. Gary, he's got like a one two. Not he's even. got a he's got a point five. He's got a point five. Is it a point five? It's a point yeah. five six. That's how like it's insane. Gary Sanchez, the Snell whisperer. It's like, insane. Last year's whoever, whoever trades for Snell is. Getting oh, you kind of it's it's, right? it's it's an R.A. Dickey Josh Schuler thing. You gotta you gotta take both. Like, are we opposed to that right now? Uh, With the way Kirk's hitting, are we opposed to bringing in Gary Sanchez? El, El Gary? Um, no, I wouldn't be opposed. Even running as like a third catcher, just only catching Snell. Like, I'm not opposed. I could see it. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there anyone else that we need to talk about right now that's came out? In the last few I mean, days, they, pitching wise, they brought up just in general. They brought up the boomstick again. Yeah, okay. they because they've they, actually they showed interest. Apparently, apparently showed interest. Okay. Um, again, I don't hate it if he's the last guy on your bench. No, he talked to all of those guys about approach mm-hmm. and like 
the things you can learn just from having Nelson Cruz in your lineup, I feel like would be amazing for this team. Yeah. And the fact he's still been an elite hitter like the past not that long ago. Yeah. The past two years have fallen off a bit, but like the dude's got pop. Yeah. Who on our bench is just run you can bring to the game and be like, all right, he can run into one. Well, today was a perfect example. They pinch hit for Kevin Kiermeyer, and their option was Santiago Espinal. Because yeah. you're trying to go get away from the lefty lefty matchup, and your only righty on the bench is Santiago Espinal. Mm-hmm. Like that doesn't which, scare me in the slightest. Again, which is why I think if the Jays are going to swing for a quote unquote top thing, mm-hmm. Brent Rooker. I just can't imagine you're going to pay that price. I've um, like uh, I've trust, I've Brent Rooker's got like seven control, years of control. Sense. That's the thing. He's got so much years, and I think, but also there's a couple other guys that are like on the low end, mm-hmm. like like Dylan Carlson of the of the Cardinals. Sure, I'd rather O'Neill if you're going there. I think. What's O'Neill got? I think I think years? O'Neill gets you. I think O'Neill costs more than Carlson. I don't think so. I think Carlson's a better defender. He's faster, and I want to say he's younger. This is all. I it's very right. clear that Marmol doesn't like O'Neill too. So yeah, yeah. Uh, O'Neill is twenty eight, mm-hmm. uh, and he is a free agent in twenty twenty five. So uh, two more years after this one, I swear he came up before Carlson. And Carlson's a free agent. Yeah, he's Carlson's a free agent in twenty twenty seven. And how old's Carlson? Uh, he is 20. Give me this, please. Oh, he's only got one more year of ARB. Well, baseball Who, O'Neill? Yeah. Uh, Carlson is one more Carlson's 24. Yeah, so O'Neill, O'Neill makes more sense. He's got lower value, for yeah. sure. He's got the I, pop. A name I heard brought up not too long ago either was CJ Crone, and I wouldn't, wouldn't hate it. I don't think Crone's having a good year. It, no. it doesn't matter. You don't need to bring. We're not looking for a guy that's going to start. Like, this kind oh, of. Oh no, no, no! I'm not saying. I'm not saying like. But then also, how do you do the platoon? Is it just? I don't think you do. Him and Belt. Is it? Is it just Belt for Crone and then every day? Yeah, I think so. Probably. Yeah. And Belt takes first base time from Vladdy the odd time, but yeah, like I don't think Crone's a defender at all anymore. No, you're not looking for a guy that can come in and play a position on this team. I think defensively, the team is about as good as it can get. I think even there's like people have brought up on the low end, like Tommy Pham. Sure. Like, sure. Who has, who has like a career 850 OPS against lefties. So, yeah. And if you, if you look at him, like I, I want to follow that Braves model from the year they won. So 2021, yeah. just get a deep like, bench of bats. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he fits that. Mm-hmm. I don't think you have to give up much. I think you could get a couple other guys in that same ilk, essentially, mm-hmm. and not have to give up much. I think I'm with you on that. You know another name that I saw in an article somewhere, I think? Josh Stomont. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Stomont, Stomont? isn't he um Kansas City? Kansas City? Kansas City? Yeah. Having he's like a five year He's age. been terrible this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. But he throws a hundred. And his you could use him differently. Nasty. He could be your guy in the fifth. Like mm-hmm. who cares? Well, I don't think right. He, up there's, a there's a he, couple guys that you could do that with, though. Like, do you just go get Joe Kelly or Kendall Graveman from the White Sox? Joe Kelly would be a fun one. Um, there, there's a fun one that the if the White Sox were bold enough and they could sell high on a guy that they kind of just got in the Rule Five and he's super young but throws a hundred and fucking three. Hmm. Gregory Santos. Who's okay. I don't know. Who's much the about. other guy? Who's the other guy in the? Oh, I saw him. Someone was talking about him the other day. Another reliever. In the, He's been team? around. Is it Kenyon Middle? Keenan Middleton. Keenan yeah. Middleton. Keenan Middleton. He, throw, he throws like ninety-seven, but apparently he's just using his change like fifty percent this year for the first yeah, time. He's had a his really change is disgusting. He's had a really good year. Like, hmm. so. uh, not really related. Is Garrett Crochet healthy yet, or what's his deal? Uh, he was healthy, and then he wasn't. Okay. So, like... So he's not uh, around. It's not an option. Yep. Okay. The other thing, like, we have, we've got one lefty. we got some readies that we like to use against lefties. Yes. Mm-hmm. Lefty. Yeah, I mean, lefty. Swanson's a lefty split guy, no? Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. But, yeah. like, and but so like, is Richards with the changeup. But getting like, an actual lefty. I also understand Kikuchi's probably moving to your pen. Mm-hmm. Come October, so that kind of which helps, I don't hate. Like, I don't. No, hate I, it. I love that. Mm-hmm. But do you like? 
but like an actual lefty reliever who like has done this before okay, kind of wouldn't be terrible. You just you just said you just you just said who's done that before, and I was like, Amir Garrett just got DFA'd. <laughs> like, I don't I, think Amir I, Garrett's got I, it anymore, though. I but I wouldn't hate taking a flyer on that over Mitch White. Yeah, like you're right, but we also got to keep in mind, like, uh, you need a spot for Chad Green. You need a Chad, spot for Hinjin Ryu. I think they're probably yeah. gonna try and find a spot for Adam Simber. Yeah, as much as we don't want to see it. Do you need that spot right now? Probably. Soon, that's fine. So Honestly, bring Garrett up or sign Garrett. Bring him in for a week, two weeks. If he someone, does nothing, get rid of him. Someone brought this up. We keep talking about Chad Green. Are they? Do they just wait him out until they expand the roster? Yeah, that's a long time. So. Like, no, you that doesn't make any sense. No, you because need like, him. I think they just said need, that Chad Green. You like, need him to be like firing by the time you reach. He's throwing. He's playoffs. throwing in a game this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I just i I don't think you're scared to lose someone right now. If no, they're I, bad I, enough to be off this team, then you don't care if you lose them. You have a little bit of depth. Be, you can't be scared to do that. You is have... Bowden Francis on the roster right now? On the active roster or? Yeah. Because I, I feel like if so. him and if him and Mitch White are on the active roster, I feel like those are that's the two very obvious picks. Yeah, that, that's that doesn't make sense. I don't believe because if Francis if Fran- is currently there, because if Francis isn't there, Emmer Hatch has to be. I think don't they? Yeah, yeah I no. feel like they've got to be able to because they have Jackson. But if Simbers hurt, they should have three spots, shouldn't they? Yeah. Uh, hold up, let me. Bassett, Barrios, Garcia, Gosman, Jackson, Coochie, Manoa, Meza, Pearson, Richards, Romano, Swanson. Oh White. no, that was that was when Manoa was down. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah. Shit, you're right. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think the odd men out are Mitch White, clearly, and mm-hmm. then Jay Jackson, which is fucking I unfortunate. I don't think Jay Jackson needs to go anywhere. He until... doesn't, but he will when Chad yeah. Green is back. Yeah, like. How many how many relievers are you allowed to have? Is it seven or eight? I think the most amount of starters you're allowed have. thirteen pitchers and thirteen oh, position players. I think the so if anything, yeah, you could do six and seven or eight. So they're at thirteen. There's like, no limits. There's no limit on starters yeah. or relievers because and, you can have right. spot starters and stuff. Right. So you can't have a limit on that. Okay. But yeah, dude, it it's weird that we're like two years removed from being like, who the fuck is in our bullpen? To who is coming out of this bullpen? Who stays in this bullpen right now? Yeah, like, well, like realistically, Jay Jackson's had nine appearances. Eight of them he hasn't up. given up an earned run. And the one run that he did give up was against the Aaron, Aaron Judge tank. Yeah. Yeah. Uh like, Jimmy Garcia has been great as of late. Yeah. Uh Trevor Richards has been Mays has been elite all year. Richards has been great. Richards has been phenomenal since the first two weeks. Swanson's been great. Swanson's been great. Romano's been Romano's great. been scary, but he's does the job. Yeah. Who Nate's comes out solid. of this book? Who? Nate. Yeah. Oh, Nate, Nate. Nate's had his like. Nate's, Nate's got so his... many roles, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Who comes out of the pen? Mitch White's obviously gone. That's yeah, not it's... that's not a question. You come down to it, it probably has to be Jay Jackson because is... he's got it's... the options. I think if if like I think it sucks. Nate, I think if Nate was struggling, then Nate would be the more like you could argue that, but he's not right now. Like he's Nate, been good. Nate gave up. You've, you've also got uh, what's his name? Canadian kid. Pop was injured. Pop. He's back. He's down there. I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be a tough little bit. Yeah. I don't know if you need to add relievers. Is kind of where I'm coming from here. I think you don't need a big reliever piece. I, I don't think, think you need any I reliever wonder, pieces. I wonder if they do like addition by subtraction mm. um with like a three team trade or something you go to a team that's I, out of contention mm-hmm. you get their best reliever and you package like uh if the lefty maybe it's a mesa and uh simber i can't see them trading mesa i'm just saying you could do it two for sh- like you could do your because simber the 40 makes minutes, sense the yeah 40 minutes kind of crowded yeah, yeah. Like you like, could do that is the other thing is there's not really anyone that's going to come out of there, and Ryu has to take someone's spot on the forty man. But it would it makes that would make so much sense to do height... to flip flop to flip two of your guys on the outside who could probably 
yeah. help some teams in the league right now for uh, a guy who can pitch in leverage for you, essentially, sure. from a lesser team. Hypothetically, it sounds great. However, uh, name me one of these teams that has an arm that they will trade that you want right now. Colorado? Probably not. Washington? Pittsburgh? St. Louis? The they Mets? Bednar? Bednar. Not, Bednar? I don't think they move on from Bednar. Jordan Didn't they Hicks just sign him to an extension? Gallegos. Yeah, yeah, they, Gall- are, J- Jordan Hicks would be an interesting one, but he can't find the broadside of a barn on a good day. Um, it's been good lately. Gallegos? Why, why, why do they need Gallegos? Sure. I think um, that the Cardinals are such a weird trade deadline piece yeah. because they don't want to blow Holy it up. tank? Yeah. They, They're they saying to... both Arenado, Arenado and Goldie are available. I heard I think Aaron. I think Aaron Nato's the is too much. He's um, four years, one hundred and eleven left, and Goldschmidt only has one year at twenty two. I want year. nothing to do with either of them. Oh, I, I trust. I was not. thinking of this today. If I'm a you playoff said team, two weeks ago, you wanted to trade. I know. Chapman for Aaron Nato. I know, yeah. and now I, I'm I'm going back on it because I completely forgot how dog shit they were last playoffs. Both of them. I mean, their pitching fucking blew it. And they went like they went a combined like zero for eighteen with sixteen strikeouts. Their pitching. I mean, the, are you going to blame the, the pitching? Was the reason they the pit? Yeah, they weren't great either. But like the two biggest sticks on the team had sixteen strikeouts and like eighteen at bats. They were bad. So I want nothing to do with them anymore. Anyways, we were talking about pitching, and you uh, were just flying. We're sorry, going back. Yeah, well, that's what I, my my point is. Like, I don't know. I mean, you got Oakland, KC, Chicago, Detroit, and Scott Barlow. Just, Barlow Stom. Are any of them really gonna make a big enough difference that you want to make a trade for? I don't I think, think there's enough there that matters in terms of relievers. Gregory Santos. Sure. I just He's don't allowed- think there's a I don't think there's a move to be made for a reliever at the at the deadline. I think you're looking at some bats to come off. They will. They Which, will make a move for a reliever at the deadline. I think so it's so. gonna be it's gonna be one of those, I think they go get a guy that just throws hard. It's literally going to be. I what think they Chad Green is your reliever of the deadline. No, I know. I realize that, but I'm saying they get another guy, and it's one of those lesser acquisitions with some control that it doesn't have to be. You know who just makes sense? Home? Nolan Arenado. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we need to talk about the deadline too much more. Because we'll just have the same conversation seven more times before next week. Very true. Uh, where the hell did my thing go here? I lost our sheet. <laughs> um, I did want to talk last week about the hilarity of people at the beginning of the season talking about how this team needs to be more serious. And then bitching about it when we're not having fun like every other team in the league. And then also enjoying it when they do have fun. Story again. It's just, it's it's so hard to keep up with who wants what. And I think they're way better when they're having this much fun. It's yeah, it's way better. Dude, it's so they, stupid. Someone in the clubhouse just decided to play Street Fighter and like, oh, this oh, looks so cool. Sick. Let's I love do it. it now. The whole group thing, way more fun. You don't even need the jacket. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple little things before we get out of here or move on to anything else. Uh, TD sponsoring the jerseys now how do we feel i honestly couldn't give a shit people were complaining about it and i'm like i think it looks bad i think it looks really bad notice but really who cares i haven't noticed it honestly i don't okay on the um on the blue ones Mm -hmm. it's noticeable right on the white ones i didn't really notice it no that makes sense um i'm pretty sure they did a giveaway with the td logo on it yeah td sponsored jerseys Mm -hmm. before like so it's, it's, it's like it's bad. it's not I don't know really I just I I don't mind jersey sponsors as a whole I think the Motorola one on the Padres tonight looks clean because it's the same color and that makes sense when you have a green TD logo on a blue and white jersey yeah really don't, don't love it I don't think you can Roger, they can't, they can't Ro- make the TD I was gonna say logo blue like Rogers wouldn't have looked bad but it just doesn't make sense no because they're not going to give themselves more money yeah and all, yeah the TD logo you can't put it in blue. No, or red. Yeah, so it just like, doesn't. You could have done white, maybe. You could have done blues. Like WestJet. WestJet would work. WestJet would have been nice. Corona. Schneider's. Schneider's. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't love the look of it, but I understand why they did it, and I really don't hate the reasoning. Mm-hmm. Um, what else we got? Oh, 
we got to get away from divisions, right? Oh, they're so bad. Oh, Honestly, they're so happening. bad. We we had this conversation last night, but I, I, know. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening now. They because MLB has said they want to deal with Oakland and Tampa. Yes. Bay, no, you know. And then and then they're going to expand, which I'm sure they want that to be before 2030. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the plan is for both all like all of that to happen before 2030. Mm-hmm. They're not going to realign divisions. See, but my point isn't to realign. I, I don't I think you need to realign anything. Simmer down for a second. No, I will not. <laughs> They're not going to realign or do whatever and then have to change things again when two more teams come in. When the Red Sox and Yankees both miss the playoffs but have a better record than two division winners, you can't <laughs> tell me that the league's not going to want to do something. But, but like, but Brent, like, it's literally that it will take the Yankees and the Red Sox to miss the playoffs. This might be the year, Connor. I'm, I'm not saying it won't be. It might like, be the year. Like, they, the, the Red Sox are, or the Yankees, sorry, are currently better than the Twins for sure, right? Yes. The twins and they've got to be close to, I guess they're the not really Brewers and next. Dodgers. Yeah. So, I mean, that doesn't help the case a ton. That's only going to put one of them in. But one is probably better than none for the league. I just, I don't think you need to realign. I don't care if you move the divisions around. I just say you don't worry about who finishes where in the division. You just take your top six teams and you run like that. Who wants to see the Twins play in the playoffs? Just do it like the NBA. The play-in tournament? No, no, not that. The NBA has div- the NBA has divisions. They just don't matter. They just don't matter. Right. That's Milwaukee's how it should be. 52 and 43. The Yankees are 50 and 43. 50 and 45. I think. Yeah, like, so they're, they're close. They're two, game, they're, they're two games out of them. And they're games. last in the AL East. Like, it's insane. I don't, honestly, I've thought this for a while. I don't really see the need for divisions in sports anymore. Like, no, stupid. Especially if you're doing a balanced schedule. It's yeah, the still whole thing... not balanced, though, because you're no. playing your own division more. But, like, even the whole leagues thing, like, Mm-hmm. We, that was when you were traveling by rail to games. Yeah. That's when this started. You're walking yeah. from stadium mm-hmm. to stadium. Get and on also, your horse and go. And also it made things like the all-star game seem a lot more cool because that's the only time you got to see guys from the other right. league. Now that there's interleague league every day, it doesn't mean shit. Yeah. Like, like the thing, we in three of our next four series are NL West teams. Well, we had Diamondbacks, Padres, Mariners, and Dodgers. Dodgers. Like yeah. and then angels shortly after that too. Yeah, so it's like it doesn't. It it, it just doesn't make a ton of sense no. to have, especially when it's like this. Like, it it just doesn't make a ton of sense. No. Well, especially because like unless you were doing it for geographical proximity, yeah, and like rivalries, mm-hmm. and well, you have you... a couple extra games, but like the amount of extra games you're playing against your division, mm-hmm. and you should just. I don't know. The geographical part of it thing doesn't really make sense either, though, because like technically we're in the same league as Oakland, who's about as far as away as we can get, but we're not in the same division as Miami or same league as Miami. Also, the amount of right next to Tampa. The, yeah, the amount of and also the amount of NL teams like in a line between us and Tampa mm-hmm. makes no sense. No, like, exactly. It just no, I. That's it, what I'm saying you get rid of leagues. Yeah, if this was a thing where it. like. You were geographically located so that you were only playing the teams that were close by, so travel wasn't such a bitch. Then I would get it, but that's not the case, and it's, the schedule doesn't even play out for that to be the case. So it just doesn't make sense why any of this exists. But they're not going to do anything about it. So yeah, they got to figure something out with the divisions, though. Yeah, for sure. They have said that it's right. awful. They have said that that is the plan eventually. How but... long have we been in the biggest nightmare division in baseball? I feel like we were in like the central and like the like when we first started mm-hmm. as the Jays. Well, growing up, the Yankees and Red Sox were the the two teams to beat in baseball, regular season, anyways. And that was the division we were in every year. And there was one wild card team, and that and was then it. Tampa in what oh seven started to come on, and yeah. then it's just you always had Baltimore the odd year. Like uh-huh. it's. It's just insane. Those, those early 2000s Jays teams that were winning 90 plus games and not making, not making it. Yeah. It's brutal. I don't think we have any other little Jays pieces to do. do we? Um, I mean, we technically do. I just didn't put them in there. Uh, shout out to Chris Bassett for his like oh, yeah, foundation cool. thing. Uh, 
him and his wife are given 10,000 USD for every game that the Jays win that he pitches in. That's cool. N- not a game that he wins. No. It's a game that he pitches in that they happen to win. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, it already... was back paid for the previous 12, too? Yeah, they've already, yeah. That's, that's super that's... cool. Jeez, he's won 12 games. He hasn't won 12, but he's been I in the game where they win 12. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. He's a winner. Um, Shout out to everyone's favorite prospect that wasn't doing shit in the month of April and now is all the way up to AAA, Rebels Martinez. See, I told you this was going to happen. Now we've got three guys to play two yeah. positions. And he hit his first uh, AAA hit was a bomb <laughs> tonight. So that makes sense. So uh, crazy, man. He's figured it out, I think. I did just say we need power off the bench. Is there no? I I'm no. Just stop for a second. No, they're they're not starting the clock, Nate. I'm not. I like we've done it. Before, Finish your thought, and then I'll but say. I'm no. just saying. Is do you think there's any chance? Is there a world where Arelvis, if you don't have that avenue out there at the deadline mm. to get that power bat? Is there an avenue where Arelvis is that solution? If he wasn't what you're saying, 21 I, years old, I get what you're saying. He was now. not starting the clock, but they did it with Kirk. I don't even think the clock's the issue. I think he hasn't. Every time he's gone up somewhere, he struggled a little bit. So, so coming in at the end of the year thought, to face major league pitching, yes, I don't I realize that. I'm not saying he has a mediocre stint to AAA right now. I'm saying right. he's tearing the cover off the ball. He's mashing balls. Sure. Does he force his way into that conversation over a um, Lucas or a right. Clement? Right. Maybe even on the playoff roster or something, just to be your last guy off the bench yeah. that could hit for some pop. Is it possible? Maybe. Is it likely? I don't think so. I could see it being. I'm, it's not likely at all. That's I think I maybe saying. if they go down every avenue and they could not find a single bat and without having to give up like a Ricky Tiedemann, then they maybe take a look at it. I, I just can't see it. He'd have to hit the shit of the ball for the next month. Oh, yeah. That's like hit like if he 450 the with the ball. a bunch of homers and stuff with like He's keeping the same eye that he has. No, I know he's not. But he'd have to do something stupid like that. Uh, I think that's it, right? Um, I mean, there from, was a bunch. From I the kind of side. yeah, from the Jays because we have one thing Jays related, but I can kind of put it together with some mm-hmm. league stuff that happened. Okay, uh, a bunch of signings by the draftees that have oh, happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shout out Arjun Damala for taking seven way less than fifty thousand. Thank less. you, kid. Well, because we gave. Who do we give like a million over slot? We gave uh, some Canadian the fourth, kid, wasn't fourth it? Pit. No, it was the fourth pit. Uh, fourth pit, Marutis. Ah. They gave, he was uh he got signed for nine hundred and fifty two thousand dollars over slot. Fantastic! Like, shout out Arjun Namala, Jesus. Jeez, man, we ride um, with this child. Yeah, love it. Who has who? Who people were like? I love. There was a video that got put out of him in the batting cages, and they're like, "That's a weird follow through." And I'm like, "So weird." I'm like, "Yeah." Have you seen people play cricket? That's a cricket ass follow through. Yeah. That is a cricket follow through. Yeah. Dude, I don't know how he does it with that swing, but he put one 10 rows behind the, the bullpen. Dude, he got pop. Like, he's got pop. Like, that's an 18 year old child. 17? 18? 17. 17 year old kid. Damn. I hope, he, I hope he's special. Really do. Uh, shout out, shout out, Paul Skeens. He got nine point two million. Oh God, got the bag. And Set a was, record. He was still under slot. Really? The slot was, I think, nine point seven, and he got nine point two. Really? Oh, yeah. Shout out to the Pirates spending money. <laughs> I guess, I yeah. guess if, you, if you call that spending money. Yeah. Um. Before we, I guess we might as well just finish everything up before we go on to our. Can we talk about another quick? Yeah. Signing here. Yep. You hear about this kid, the Jays signed, undrafted kid, Canadian? Oh, I feel like Bryce I, Arnold? No. I, I heard that they signed him. I just don't Man, know. Man, this year, I forget. I think he's a corner infielder. If I read, this, if I read that right. Okay. This year, uh, he's playing at Campbell, D1. Mm-hmm. At 321 with a 412 on base, 79 hits, 65 ribbies, and uh, 17 home runs. Jeez. Did you say 65 hits? 79, 17 homers? 79, 79 hits. 65 ribbies. Slug 638. Jesus Christ. That's a good flyer as an undrafted kid. 
Yeah. I like that. Um, uh, had his position there. Um, but that's that's nuts. No, we'll take that. You guys remember the uh that that seventh round uh, White Sox guy that I was telling you about that he's six seven and he's two he's seventeen years old. Okay. They signed him for seven hundred fifty thousand over slot. Ooh. He, he signed Ooh. for a million. Like, Ooh, that hurts. Like, uh, Shane Bieber, ILs big IL. going to the IL. Apparently, it's not that serious, but he but it's he, still not good. He's basically taking himself out of the the running for yeah any type of trade. Yeah. Um, so. you got anything else? Uh, the Diamondbacks lost. Uh, are are now joining the Padres, and they're not uh having Valley Valley Sports. They're no longer calling those games. Lovely. So are they in a situation where they don't have anyone calling the games at all? No, they're doing what the, the Padres did, and it's a uh, welcome to Padres baseball uh, brought to you by MLB. Oh, cool. That's literally what uh, Don, like the, the Padres guys have Lovely. to do now. Lovely. <laughs> but yeah, um, the, yeah. That, that thing is going broke. We got a draft. We do. I want to. You want to what? So I want to preface this with, okay. I, forget, I don't know who tweeted this the other day, but apparently yeah. Major League Baseball is considering having a like alumni home run derby at next year's All-Star game. Mm. And I know the name, there's, there were four names they said, and I can't remember one of them for it the life was, of me, it was, but uh, it was Poppy, Tomei, Griffey. I don't know who the fourth one was. There's no way those guys can still swing it. Poppy, yeah. yes. I had, a, I had apparently a, Griffey was taking BP in the WBC. WBC and oh yeah, I remember that they were all watching. Was, the fourth one Pools. was Albert Pools. Oh yeah, Pools. Oh, okay, well that makes he sense. wins that. Albert would he wins that? Well, he should. He's fucking one year out of hitting twenty eight in the majors. Like, That'd be uh, unreal. Yeah. But anyways, so I they said can't, they can't move the fences back. Just saying. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind aluminum bats though. Oh, to give him like. Like if you go, yeah, that's fair. I think Griffey's fifty-two. Or Griffey just also does not look like prime Griffey. But anyways, so I suggested we do a draft today of uh, our own all-time home run derby. Mm. Four players each. I have questions. Uh, one has to be a current player. Okay. Uh, do they have to have uh, been no. in a derby? No, I, I'm saying just guys you want to see. You want to see in a dirt? Perfect. Okay. Uh, I have a uh, random order thing. I'm gonna do it five times. Okay. I'm just, I'm just writing the names down. One, two, three, four. Tell us what the fourth one is. Oh fuck! Oh, I can go back. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's fine. It. It's fine. It's fine. We broke the game. We broke it. <laughs> Can't even do a random scramble correctly. The guys. oh, okay. So the fourth time was Connor, Nate, me. Okay. The fifth time is not working. Oh, there we go. It was Nate, me, Connor. Of course it was. A fucking middle pick. I hate the fucking middle pick. All right. Okay, so we got uh, one has to be a current player. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that player right now, though. Okay. Like you could have Stanton from right. whatever you oh, get, like yeah, right. that player in his prime. Okay. Okay. So I I got one one here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going Barry Bonds. Yeah, that was the easiest one one of all time. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going Ken Griffey Jr. with with the second pick. That's the, the, honestly, he's the coolest. Honestly, he's the coolest Derby com- competitor ever. I feel like the backwards hat, the yeah. lefty swing. He's yeah. also won Gorgeous. it three times. Right. All right. So I'm just saying this now. Uh this is how many people are picking? Four? Four. Yeah. I only have I only have going how we usually draft. There's only one pick where I fuck it. And it's probably gonna be a lot earlier. You got a good chance here, Connor. <laughs> I mean I do I um you get two picks in a row. Do I just do I just I, I think there's it? definitely a strategy here with having two in a row. Uh, I think I got to go with the two men that saved baseball. Mm. Mark, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa. That's not where I would have went. I okay. wouldn't have done that, but I, you can't go wrong there. No, I don't disagree with the picks, but that would, they were not coming to my mind. I got to be honest with you. 
Really? Yeah. They were they were both they were both in my mind. There. I'm just going for I'm just going I for was not. bombs. Fuck your entertainment. Um, entertainment is the bombs. Okay. Uh I'm gonna go with David Ortiz. Okay. So, he, was, he was a fun derby guy. Come on, Nate. <laughs> Jordan um, Barry. I'm going Stanton because I think it's advantageous to get your one uh, current guy, especially when that's the most obvious one. Okay. Is it? I think so. Okay. And, man, that's tough. I think I want Manny. I was thinking oh. it. I was, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, I, this is also where I kind of want to go with my current guy. But there's just fucking too many options. And I don't feel bad about not taking a current guy. It's kind of my issue. Uh, you know what? This is a out there pick. I'm going to go Josh Hamilton. I think Josh Hamilton put on one of the coolest shows in Derby history. Okay. And I'm gonna run with that. Definitely not thinking of that. Um no. okay, so this is this is my literally the end of my draft. Okay. Fuck. You need one current one. Yeah, I need a current and like a legend. Um I'm gonna shit. let you take a current one so that I have less options. Someone already took David or See, I was just gonna go with like I don't think you guys have to still take current, right? No, fuck. Nate, I have. No, a, I, I have. Mine is a current. Nate, how far back were you thinking for your old, for your legend? The guy I've got in mind isn't very far back. Okay, then I can say this. I I was I was thinking Hank Aaron, but that's like, ooh. But I don't know. If I don't know like, if that would get you votes. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, honest. I don't know if that's good. However, for he is he is technically <laughs> statistically, if you take away if like you include asterisks. Yeah. He's the Second. best home runner hitter of all time. Yeah. Like. Hmm. That's an interesting one. I wouldn't have thought of that. No, I wouldn't have either. I'm total recency bias on this. Mm-hmm, me too. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's fair. Uh, you know what? This is tough. Super tough. Fuck it. Give me, give me father and son. Vlad and Vlad. Give me Vlad and Vlad. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. <laughs> See, I'm glad. I was gonna. I was thinking Vlad. Um, like... I was between Vlad, Bryce, and Pete. Were the three names that I'm. I'm try. I was trying to decide. I thought one of you guys was gonna take. Stanton and I one of those three was my I just find you can't, I can't lie. If I don't think had, you can miss with these picks with if these we had a currents. deeper draft if mm-hmm. we had like more picks I I would have fucked around and picked Ellie De La Cruz at some point if mm. we did if we did more current if we yeah. did more one current like <laughs> it's Bryce or Pete right like I don't have another choice yeah, yeah. unless you say like Trev yeah, no. Or, or Shohei. <laughs> uh, Shohei's neat. Um, Shohei just doesn't do it for me. I can't not pick Bryce. Give me Bryce. Yeah. I would That's go against would everything taken. I stand for. That's who I would have taken. But I think Stan puts on a show, man. Oh, yeah. And uh, for that exact same reason, I remember growing up watching this guy I think it was, I forget what this all star game was. I want to say Milwaukee. And he was just hitting them to the motherfucking moon. No, it might have been Chase. It was Chase Field. I think it was. Don't do it. Prince Fielder. I was going to say, yeah. Why didn't I think of Prince? Dude, Prince he was hitting one. them like 580. I also like how you like, got Prince Fielder and Milwaukee confused because he played in Milwaukee. No, I thought that Milwaukee and Chase Field look very similar. Yeah, both they're both dome kind of retractable, bit, retractable roofs. I can see yeah. it bent, slightly. Bent not, to both. Yeah, 
So that kind of threw me. <laughs> I wasn't confused because he played Milwaukee. <laughs> like <laughs> whatever that, you gotta say, man. Those those derby days were unreal. He was just like shitting on baseball. Mm. All that's right. The, that's the one thing I miss about the 10 second or the 10 outs. Yeah. Mm. So so to round out, Nate in our in our all time derby draft, Nate has Barry Bonds, Giancarlo Stanton, Manny Ramirez, and Prince Fielder. Solid. I, Part part of me wants to suggest we add a round just to have Elliot De La Cruz drafted of like <laughs> you got to pick a dude under twenty four. I was ju- I, honestly I was just kind of thinking I'm like could you pick a team of current guys that could stick with this one? I think you could. I think you. I think if you go Pete Ellie, Judge, Judge and like Trout, even Shohei, like it's it's reasonable. Yeah, like. That's nuts. We're not. Oh, even J Rod. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah. After what we, Lou Bob, uh-huh. like O'Neill. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Black. There's so All many right. good picks on the yeah. board well, just from yeah. this, like from the current. Group. Yeah. Well, Brant had Your Ken, Ken Griffey, Jesus, Ken Griffey Jr., David Ortiz, Josh Hamilton, and Bryce Harper. I don't hate it. It's the worst of the three, but was I don't hate it. I have the coolest home run derby hitter of all time. I have the vibes. And the I don't know if you do. I, I have. I don't know if you do. Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Vladimir Guerrero Sr. You have the steroids. Which Sammy sure? Sosa, do you get? I get Cub, cub Sammy. What Black or white? <laughs> yeah. What, what color is Sammy at this point? <laughs> Sammy is a few, a couple, a good two, three shades darker than me. At, at not point. anymore. Not anymore. I don't even I, know if he's two, three shades darker than Nate. Okay, so he's, that, the, he's the color of that uh, Texas so Rangers jersey. So if we're doing this, is, is Nate getting fifty six year old Manny and who's hitting who's no, hitting no, in Thailand? I was, just, I was joking. Like I Manny could so. come in and still probably win at derby. Oh, dude, give, can we do that Legends Derby with Manny? Like, can he just be? be can if he, he wasn't the steroids I, guy, they'd probably do it. But they won't. man, I'm just saying, I love my team in this. I mean, are we? Are we? I don't think any of us missed. I gotta be honest. My Hamilton take, picks out there. Yeah. No. Sorry. No. We're taking, I would, we're taking I Bryce Harper, who has hit one home run the last two months. Yeah, but prime Bryce Harper is so different. <laughs> I mean, my, like my team is not hitting a ball under 450 feet. No. I think Vlad. I think the only like the shortest home run I'm getting out of is Vlad. I think I have Vlad senior. I think I have the Maybe most junior. derby wins. Right. Yeah, because you picked actual derby guys. I know, but I just, think I have two. Or I think one. I have two wins. I've got the experience. I, ha- I have two wins. I don't know if McGuire. Won. I think Fielder has two. Griffey has three. Ortiz has three. Jesus. Bryce has two. Ortiz has three. I'm pretty sure he has three. I might have two. Ortiz hasn't lifted a bat since <laughs> he retired. And a boy, uh, Bryce has two, and Hamilton doesn't have any, does he? No. No, he but he has one of the coolest performances of all time. Mm-hmm. So I'm at eight derbies. Yeah, lovely. I'm at one. Vlad and Vlad have one, right? Two, three. So, so, Sosa and Maguire have one. I have four. Sosa Maybe. and Maguire have a derby win. Yeah, so uh, uh, Sosa won in 2000, and the Maguire won in 1992. Okay, I just don't remember them. Like I don't. I don't remember then, ever seeing video. I'm I, guess like, kind I, of I don't. I don't know if I have any. You have Stan. Yeah, you do. Uh, Stan Stanton has one for sure. Stan has one. Yeah. Uh, Fielder has two. Prince has one. Yeah. Um, because that was the thing. Fielder won it uh, with the Tigers and the Brewers. Yeah, he's the first did. person to win it with both leagues. Um, Barry's got one. Yeah, Barry has to. Have, Barry got 1996, and then. Ugh. So you guys both have four. Yeah. And I have eight. Looking at the yeah, you piece. Shh, shut up. I have memories. Can, can we all agree that Todd Frazier is the weirdest home run derby winner? How did Manny Ramirez he fucking ne- crush balls that year, though? Manny no, didn't win one. Not. No, Manny has never won one. Has he no, the been? weirdest is has Robinson Cano. Oh shit! Wait. Or Justin Morno. Yeah, Justin Morno is definitely the weirdest one, especially because he wasn't even the best hitter in that year. Hmm. Miguel, um, wait, Miguel Tejada? Cano's makes sense, though. Cano has, like, the smoothest swing. He was, like, a Griffey yeah. light. And then Todd Frazier was a derby machine. He was, like, the Pete Alonso of my younger years. He was built for it. Didn't he won one, and then he went to the finals in the next one, right? I'm pretty sure. I think. 
I think he that lost was cool. Stanton. Good, good work, Nate. How did? Yeah. How could you win? There's two years where there were multiple winners. Excuse me. Eighty nine and eighty six. There were two winners each year. Huh? Who? Uh, do you want to guess? I have it pulled up, so I did. Frank, go ahead. George Brett. Okay, we'll go eighty six for eighty six first. Your Brent. The, uh, does, does Brent know either of these people? I I would hope he knows this Mets player. Oh, for sure. I think I would hope. He's got a very interesting nickname. Is it Daryl Strawberry? Yes. And then uh, California Angels. I'll give you one guess because you're not going to get it. California. Tim Salmon. Wally 86, Joyner. motherfucker? Tim Salmon? <laughs> no, what, who would you say? 89. Wally Joyner. Wally oh. Joyner was 86. 89. There's what? a Cincinnati Red. That's a pretty common card. And that will be the show. And then, uh, and then a Texas Ranger. That I don't. Remember, I've, I've never I, heard of him. I cannot think of this Cincinnati Red, the center fielder. Oh, is it Davis or whatever his name yeah. is? Eric Davis, Eric, Eric Davis. and then Ruben Sierra. Hmm. Yeah, I want to see why did they why did they tie? I don't know. History, there's got to be something in the history, right. No, doesn't say. Okay. Hmm. It was a two-inning event with each player receiving five outs, allowing for the possibility of ties. Ew. That's why. That's not you. No. That's lame. When did we start the new format? I, had I feel it like here. the Hold new on. format was like 17 and... or 18. Doesn't really say. There's it, this is such a nightmare way to do this. Like they just have random things all over the place on like stats or like. Okay, well, if we're going off of 2017 or 16, mm-hmm. top 10, all of them other than one are 19 or more recent. There's yeah, one on there I that's think... 2016. Oh, so I believe that is beforehand. To answer the question, the format was changed in 15. Okay, never mind. So everyone just got stronger. Well, because Stanton had it. Yeah, it was Stanton. And then Vlad has something up there. Yeah, Vlad's number one, 91. Okay. Huh. And then, well, is uh, J-Rod up there? J-Rod's got to be, right? He had like third. Yeah. I guess he only... Hmm. Last year, not this year. Yeah, no. Wait, last year, not this year. Yeah, get eighty one. That's so, last year. so tough. Can you name Brent? Can you name the top ten all time homers in home run derbies? Like totaled? Yeah. Ortiz has to be up there. He's number ten. Really? Jesus. Seventy seven. Uh, Vlad? Vlad's got to be there then. Vlad's two. One sixty three. Who's done a lot of Pete? Yeah. Number one. Okay. Um. Hundred and ninety five. Griffey. No, because he was in the weird format where they didn't hit. Uh, Stanton. Yep, seven. 83. Bryce? Nope. Who the hell? J Rod? Yeah. yeah. So you said him already, didn't you? I didn't say J Rod, no. Oh. 142. Holy. Uh, who am I missing? You're missing uh, uh both guys tied for fifth. Okay. Uh six. He's eight. missing fourth. Oh, he's missing he's missing fourth. Four. Uh two guys yeah. tied for fifth, sixth, and then eighth and ninth. I like I said, yeah. like seven names. Uh one guy was only in this derby. This derby. Yeah. Was it Randy? I feel like yeah, yeah. Randy. Eight eighth. Eighth okay. place. Eighty two home runs. What what year were the other ones? One guy's on my team. Oh, Prince. Yep. Okay. Uh, Two guys you said Stanton. Team. I said Stanton. Oh yeah, he did say Stanton. 
Okay, I was gonna uh, say like, I feel like I said a lot of names. Four two fives and a six. Four two uh, fives and a six. Four has pulled done the most derbies of anyone on this list. Jesus. When was his last derby? Last year. Twenty two. Before that, it was twenty fifteen. Holy! Who was in last year's turn? Pujols. Uh, yes. Yeah. One hundred six. Okay. I think I think he's getting one of these next three names. Of the three names he needs, I think he's only getting one. I need three. which one? Two I think fives it, and six. I think it's the second fifth. I think it's the second five is the one he's getting. I don't think he's getting the other is ones. Todd Frazier, one of them. I was gonna say I think it's the sixth. Five. Yep. Yeah, he's Todd six. Fra- Todd Frazier's number six. Todd Frazier did three derbies in a row, I'm pretty sure. So you need the two fives. 14, 16, 17. You're missing two current players tied at 99. Two current players? Mm-hmm. When's the last derby they did? One was 22. The other was 19. Both lefties. That, don't give him a fuck. Nate, is one on. Soto? Yes. yes. One is. Oh, one that is makes one. sense. Don't I feel like anyone that wins it should just have it. Just don't give him, don't give him this one. If he get, just, come, not. come on, Brant. <laughs> Did I? I already said Bryce. Yeah. This guy won it one year, did he not? I don't think he did. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. He had to. No. I'm stumped, man. Oh no, he lost it. To... Who did he lose to? Oh, he lost it. To... He lost to Todd Frazier. Oh. Wait, he lost. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh shit! All Fuck, right. I just saw this dude, and I can't remember who it was. Because it was so cool because his brother was on the field with him the whole time, and then mm. he was on the field with him jock. again when he lost Big to Black. Cock, jock, jock, Big cock, jock. Right. Yes. He never won it. I thought he had one. I no, thought he, he lost, did too. I he thought he won that fifteen year. I mean, honestly, he has that many home runs just because he, huh. him and Vlad have like I a forty. Swear home where I remember off. him lifting a trophy with his brother. Brent, last one. Which team it. has oh. won the most home run derbies? There's one team at four. Is it Boston? Nope. Boston only Seattle? Has one. Boston only has one. Is it Seattle? Nope. Seattle has three. Boston only has one? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, so Ortiz doesn't have three or two. That's one. No. Huh. So I have six, oh. not eight. You're just giving yourself extra points. Well, I thought I could have sworn Ortiz had three. It's a brand. It's, this is a very obvious team. It's not that hard. It's really not that hard. It's really not, dude. What? Don't overthink this. I, I thought I wasn't when I said Seattle. <laughs> da, 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 is it the Yankees? Da, 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 da. Yeah. Who won Yankees. it for the Yankees? Um, ben. I think no, Judge. The Judge wasn't. No, uh, Stanton Judge won it. To no. No, yeah. Tino Martinez, I'm pretty sure. Jason Giovanni. <laughs> Tino Martinez. Bambino? Yep. Huh. So who, wait, which one didn't win it with the Yankees? Stanton? Stanton yeah. was the Marlins. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Crazy. Before we get out of here, to talk about? what was your guys' immaculate grid score yesterday? Today? Or today? Not good. 66. Um, also, there's an infinite immaculate grid. Seriously? It's what? terrible. Like the actual app is so glitchy, but uh, that's that's a cool concept if they ever get that figured out. I felt uh, I only got eight, uh, and I learned today that Cano never won a Silver Slugger as a Mariner. He wasn't good as a Mariner. No, he had like a little. I thought he had a couple of good years in the beginning, and that's what threw if me I, off. If I like tell you some of the names that I got, and then I tell you my score, you're not gonna believe me. I saw your score on Twitter. It's fucked. It what doesn't you, make sense. What did you get? I didn't even okay. see it. I didn't the look because when I saw your tweet, I was doing mine. My my rarity score was twenty four. Ooh. But but if you look at the, if you listen to the names, mm-hmm. you're gonna be like, how? Did you have Trevor Richards? No. Nah. My my Yankees my Yankees Phillies too. was Kenny Lofton. Okay. Was point nine. That's huh. weird. Yeah, I dude, I because I do my thing of. I had AJ Burnett and he was a two percenter. Kenny I thought that Lof- was really like, crazy. Dude, Kenny Lofton, Juan Pierre, and Marlon Bird kind of saved me with a lot of these. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, my Phillies and Mariners was Jay Bruce. Okay. Uh, my Phillies, and JP Crawford. Phillies yeah, that killed me. Yeah, yeah. Phillies Marlins was uh, Juan Pierre. Was he low? Uh, Juan Pierre was five percent. Huh. 
I had the, Jorge Alfaro. The highest percentage I have is 6%. I'll say that. Really? Uh, I don't know how I pulled this out of my ass, and mm-hmm. I'm late. Yankees, Brewers, Jonathan G-Man Davis? Choi. He was a Yankee? He, in my head, I was like, G-Man Choi. I thought he was just a Ray. <laughs> he was a br- like, Until dude. whatever he is now. Okay, that was the last one I did, and I kind of just pulled. I literally, when I say this, I pulled it out of my ass, and then I looked it up. He had six at bats with the Yankees. Hmm. I pulled it out of my ass. <laughs> Someone had Jonathan Davis for like point one or something yeah. like that. That was nuts. Uh, I had you, Billy McKinney. Real talk, you could just call this the Gene Segura grid because Gene Segura could go in four different spots. Milwaukee, Seattle, Milwaukee, Philly, Seattle, Miami. Philly, Miami. Right. I had I Gene Segura was my highest one at six percent. And I put it in Brewers, uh, Marlin, or Mariners. Uh, Brewers. Did G never have a silver slugger? I don't think he did. No, I was gonna say because he uh, maybe go in another one. Also, think this this one can I can purely thank MLB the show. Brewers, Marlins, Lewis Brinson. I was I happy. Did not know Lewis Brinson played for the what Brewers. Did, he was all. part of the um. He was a part of the yellow trade. What did you get for that one? I know. I don't remember. Brinson was three percent before. I don't see if you would have done Trevor Richards, you would have done better. Damn. Trevor Richards was point two for me, but okay. Marlin Silver Slugger. Mm -hmm. There was seven. I think there was like seven, eleven possible options. Mm -hmm. Dan Ugla, it's three percent. Really? Beat you. What'd you get? JT Realmuto, two percent. He was two percent. Giancarlo Stanton, (laughs) forty-eight. Jesus. Um. Um, fucking Mariner Silver Slugger Nelson Cruz, two percent. See, I did not think of that. I went Edgar, and it was seventeen, and I thought it'd be lower than that. Ken Griffey Jr., forty three percent. Jesus, and you're gonna uh, love this one. J- Yankee Silver Slugger Dave. Win- Dave wants noise. Dave Winfield. Okay, point, Winfield point, wants noise. I have point a sign seven. right there. Point seven percent. I had Jeep at fourteen. I had uh, Aaron Judge. Uh, thirty six. <laughs> so yeah, I, had, I got one wrong, and I'm like, I'm going, going in, the most obvious answers. Right, did you your literally order, just I go the Bruce most obvious? Answers? Oh yeah, for those Alfaro. ones, I'm like, I'm just, I'm getting eight here. I don't care. <laughs> My rarity score doesn't matter if I don't get nine. That's fair. So yeah, I got I had Burnett, Crawford, McCutcheon, Winker, Richards, Judge, Griffey, Stanton. A lot of Yankees. You did Winker, okay. A lot of Yankees. Yeah, I, had... I did Winker. That was the first one that came to mind. Bruce Crawford, Alfaro, McKinney, Vogelbach, Richards, Jeter, Martinez, Real Muto. Nate, you would have been so much better than me if you just didn't fucking like Jeter and Martinez. Jeter hey. was less than Martinez. Next week, or I guess two weeks from now, uh, let's go for nine for nine. All of us, all three. I'll get that. We gotta. Game. We so gotta do our. I'll own, get that ninth. One. We gotta do our own challenge at some. Yeah, point. Yeah, we do. Yeah, on the pod, <laughs> it's gonna be a late night recording. Yeah. All right, boys. Yep. We will catch you in two weeks. Yeah, because this motherfucker's a... Uh... Oh, as I'm of one problem. minute ago, as of one minute ago, shout out mm-hmm. to uh, Joey Votto. Mm-hmm. 350 career home runs. Cool. Good for him. Nice. Yeah. Hall of Famer? Sure. Yeah. Did Not first know, ballot. Did you know, I found something out yesterday that blew my mind. You know, Joey Votto's never won a silver slugger. Hmm. Doesn't hit a lot of homers. Tools there forever. Then Freeman. Mm-hmm. It's not not easy. a big power guy either. Didn't he have one year where he was like, well, that was a couple years ago where he hit like twenty in a month. Yeah, it doesn't sound right when I say that, but like, doesn't sound. Who did he either, lose though. to? He was like an MVP. Was he not an MVP? Yeah. And he didn't win the Silver Slugger. What? He, how is he not a Silver Slugger when he went? Man, he three, all star, three twenty four, 324, four twenty four on base, six hundred slugging, with thirty seven home runs and one hundred thirteen RBIs. Who he's, was better? He finished first, sixth, well twenty second, fourteenth, sixth, third, seventh, and second, and sixteenth in MVP voting. And you're telling me he doesn't have a silver slugger? He's had an he's had an OPS over one four times. I need to see who won. 20 and 10 or 17 it was or albert, 2012 when he had a 1.041 it was albert pujols in which year in 2010 what about 12 
That was Joey Votto's MVP. Joey Votto's MVP year was mm-hmm. was when he lost to Albert Pujols. Wasn't that the year? Was that the year that Pujols, Votto, and Cargo were all chasing the Triple Crown? I think because they Albert... were all top five in each category. Votto well, led the league in on base slugging and OPS. He had thirty six hey. homer or thirty seven homers. Pardon me. And 113 yeah, RBIs, and he but, didn't win it that year, but he but won the MVP. Albert, Albert led the league in runs, home runs, and RBI, and OPS plus. The award is called the Silver Slugger. That was a time that was before OPS and OPS plus really yeah. mattered. So you're he looking, slugged 600. You still weren't looking at slug that much. You're looking at home runs and RBIs. It's the name of the award. Uh, do you want to know who won in 2012? Yeah, I think you're going to be even more mad. Probably Adam LaRoche, Ugh! the guy that blew apart a bunch of teams because he eh? wouldn't not have his kid there. In 2012, Adam LaRoche batted 271, 343, 510, 853 OPS, 33 home runs, 100 RBI. You say 833 OPS? Yeah, 853. He had a 1.041. What yeah. the fuck? Joey Votto disrespect is crazy. How many home runs in RBIs that year? Uh, what year is 2012? 14 homers, 56. Oh, you know what? He only played 111 games. That's why. Grant, what the fuck? Yeah, you're right. Fine. Fine. What about 2013? 13, that was Paul Goldschmidt. What about 2017? 2017, that was also Paul Goldschmidt. Did Paul Goldschmidt have 36 homers, 100 RBIs? In 2017, a 1.032 OPS in, in 17. 20, in 2017, Paul Goldschmidt batted 297, 404, 563 for 966 OPS, 36 home runs, 120 RBI. All of which, except for RBIs, are worse than Joey Votto that year. Did, did Goldschmidt finished third in, in MVP voting. Joey Votto finished second. I fucking hate voting. I hate. I hate awards. Awards mean dick all now. I don't care. Don't use that as a as a barometer for Hall of Famers anymore. It's garbage. Absolute garbage. Thanks for listening. I think I already said goodbye, but we're going to do it again. Yeah. See you, See you in a couple weeks. Shout out to the Mariners who originally were putting uh, Blue Jay stuff in the shop. And then yes. like their, oh, their players four days bull- early. Their four players, days before their players bullied there. their players bullied them into taking them down. Four <laughs> days early. Paul, because Paul Seawald and JP Croft, Paul Seawald went on Twitter and like, "What the fuck is this?" And JP Croft is smart. Like, my head. And then it's all so them... smart. You want to make money? We yeah. got all of our people coming down. Yeah. yeah, but four days early, they're not there now. That's nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. That's nuts. Uh, As they should. We love baseball, but yeah. they do that. They, they do that. Whatever. We'll see you guys soon. Shout, shout out to Corey Seager if he, he, Shohei Otani. Cheers. <laughs>